Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to do a reading for the fire signs, which is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I'm at my kids' soccer practice right now. So I figured, why not? Oh, it's a little comfortable though. <laughs> okay. So there's been a lot of nourishment. You've been really nourishing yourself lately. Um, I feel like you lost some pleasure. Like, not ple Like, something's going on right now that, like, is not pleasurable. So you're, that's why you're, like, giving yourself, like, the self-love and the nourishment that you need right now. Because whatever it is, is taking away from that. So you're having to put that back in. Um... For pleasure, the number is 18, which is 9 in numerology, which means it's kind of like the end of a cycle. The end of the cycle, I feel like, is you weren't paying enough attention to yourself, and you were paying, te you were paying attention more to something, something or somebody else and putting all your energy into that. Um, number 6 is the lovers in tarot, and that's for self-love as well. So, yeah, there was resistance to letting yourself have your own power. You did some self-reflection, and you really realized, like, you had to release this person, or you had to release this situation, and it's really cool because, like, um, the release card is number 27, which is also 9, which is, like, you're releasing something, but, like, look at the pictures, pleasure and release, like, they're exactly the same, pretty much. And they're both nine, so I just think that's pretty cool. But, yeah, there was some self-reflection into um, looking in your power. And I think it happened during the last full moon that we had. And not I know that it has full moon right there for the power. But it the, that full moon was really powerful for everybody's zodiac sign. So it probably had something to do with that full moon. But there was some self-reflection on the situation that you were in or the person that you were having to move away from because of the resistance that you had within yourself from this person. The self-reflection is number 17, which adds up to eight, which then you have nine. So it reminds me of like, like you realize that you weren't in your power. So you had to start looking at like what was going on, like, and be honest with yourself. Oh, is that gonna... Am I gonna get that? Oh, okay, cool. And it brought you a lot of growth. And it's number five, which means it's, um... It's a lot of changes, um, sudden changes. Um... Um, you're looking very beautiful right now. You are protected by whatever is going on. You are... You're taking action into really doing discernment into your own life and um, having to trust the path of where you're going. You are putting up boundaries. Um, yeah, there could be a man, a guy that has to do with this, um, the masculine. Um, but you're having faith in the situation and you are still staying in your free will. But you are having some dark times where you know that you have to go to the extremes of disciplining and changing your thoughts and beliefs in order to bring you your manifestation into fruition. But you are assessing your life right now and you are being patient. You're learning how to be patient. You're learning patience. And there is abundance coming into your life if you feel like there's no, no peace, no inner peace, no nothing. Nothing's really going on. Um, you know, you feel in lack of, of poverty -ness. Um, there's some attraction here. You really just keep going, keep going. Don't be scared of the unexpected. Be grateful for it instead because you really are blossoming, okay? Just surrender to the universe even if you don't know what's going on and there's like a waiting game. Um, but don't wait. Use your wisdom from the past experiences that you have had and keep creating 
what it is you're trying to manifest because new beginnings are coming and you did have that realization of what it was that needed to change to step into your power that you were resisting that needed to release in the realization from the self-reflection because there was a lot of fear and there wasn't no acceptance of what was going on in this, in this situation and now there's like hunger for more like there's hunger for more wisdom there's hunger for more self-love because you saw how much power and how much growth it brought you and how much change so now it's like you're discerning more in your life what's good what's bad what's best for you you know what I mean and it's bringing, bringing balance into your life so I hope you guys like this I will see you later all right bye